Holy crap, look at that. It worked. Oh my gosh. That means all the data that was on that destroyed drive is functional. This is an external hard drive that has about 11 years of a friend's family photos on it. Their puppy chewed it. So I've already gone ahead and removed the board, which seems to have bear the brunt of the damage. The hard drive is completely dead, but it looks like the case is okay. There's a little bit of damage here in the corner. And I think that's it. There's a little bit here, but I'm hoping that that didn't damage the plates. Um, you can buy a whole board. Uh, from a company in British Columbia, uh, Canada, which is on the other side of the country for me, and they will send me a new board. Um, but the issue is that you need to move this chip right there to the new board. That chip contains some information that is proprietary to the data on that board. So I've gone ahead and I've already bought the, the donor board and I need to send this board to British Columbia and then they're gonna send me the donor board with this chip moved over and hopefully I'm gonna put it back on there and then recover 11 years of family photos. The donor board is 50 American dollars today, which I think was 65 Canadian and for $100, it's worth the gamble. You know, if you can get 11 years worth of photos back, um, sure, do it. Okay, so this is the port that I originally had on my Mac Mini, and one of these ports is dead. Um, it worked before I plugged this hard drive into it and then it stopped breaking, so I can't remember which port it was. Not that one. Yeah, it's that one there, so. This one was dead. That is a spinning hard drive. Awesome. Here we go. Holy crap, look at that. It worked. Oh my gosh. That means all the data that was on that destroyed drive is functional. All right, so first thing we gotta do, make a copy. Okay, it is now the next morning. I left that copy to go overnight. Um, actually, I didn't leave it to go overnight. I started the copy in Finder. It failed about an hour in of the two hours estimated time. And when Finder fails, it just stops the copy, doesn't try again. 
So I ended up last night starting an R-Sync in the terminal uh, on Mac and uh, copied over it that way. And when I did it that way, everything was copied and it seems to have uh, it seems to have skipped over all the errors because the drive uh, sizes are about the same now, but 142 gigs of data copied. So I'm happy with that. Um, so if you have a hard drive where the board is dead, um, not like actual physical hard or physical damage to the to the discs itself or like the motor that turns the uh, the hard drive. If it's just that green board, um, you might have some luck replacing it um, by contacting Data Pro Lab or wherever's closer. I mean, this place is in um, White Rock, British Columbia. So, depending where you are in the world, it could be expensive to get here. It was even expensive to send it from the east coast of Canada to the west coast of Canada. And it took 14 days uh, to get it to them. So, just to recap the process, uh, that green board comes off. I send this green board to Data Pro Lab. Data Pro Lab took a chip off the old green board, put it on a new green board, and sent me the new green board. It's super easy. Data Pro did not pay me for this video. They don't even know I'm doing it. Um, but I know that a lot of people in my profession may come across uh, friends, family, or maybe you're uh, maybe you're in the same situation um, and you've had some data failure. I hope not. Um, but this was kind of a thing that I told my friend it's going to cost about $100 after the shipping um, to try it and because there was so much data on that drive they were they were most definitely willing to to risk uh, $100 and in this situation it turned out well so the moral of the story is multiple backups multiple backups, multiple backups. Um, man, the dog even chewed the cable. <laughs> um, yeah, multiple backups and try and keep something on the cloud. I'm sure you're like a terabyte data plan from Google Drive, OneDrive, what else is there? Oh, of course, there's Dropbox. I should have been the first one. But all of those, like that is the method of backup I would use if I was backing up a reasonable amount of, of data. But because two cards for me is a terabyte it's slow, slow to send up, slow to send down. Um, this video is over. <laughs>